need a net for this fish. fish that we might have to weigh. Look at that tank. Hitting that fin spin. Crappy Kirby, I'd like to wish you a happy Easter. It is the Saturday before, and we're at one of my favorite lakes to uh, get those pre-spawn and spawn giant crappie. Uh, but today, you know, we haven't been having a lot of eat sections in our fish eat live. So we're going to do a real brief uh, fishing section, and hopefully we'll catch some fish. And then I'm going to walk you through one of my family's favorite recipes and favorite meals to eat uh, whenever we have a fish fry. It includes a little bit of dirty rice, uh, and it includes a really unique uh, batter, fish batter, that we fry these in, which is basically uh, some stuff that we get from Bass Pro Shop. So let's take you to Bass Pro Shop. Ooh, we're going to Bass Pro, baby. One of my favorite stores. We're going to kill a couple birds with one stone on this episode of Fish Eat Live. Lately, we've been doing a lot of live scope shows, been a lot of spring fishing shows, but we've been skimping on the eating portion. So I'm going to share with you today my favorite recipe for a great fried crappie dinner. It's going to include some, some really great, unique rice that's super simple to eat and my favorite combination of fried crappie breading, which is actually made by Bass Pro Shop. Also, in the last video, you noticed that we caught some giant crappie at John Redmond, and we've actually put them in the quarantine tank here at Bass Pro. And we're gonna check on them because they are nestled snugly up against some mossback habitat. So we're gonna get you some footage about that. If you are planning on going fishing and you ever wondered where the fish are, don't do that, just put some structure out so you know where to fish, whether it's your favorite pond, your favorite lake. Mossback Habitat is a great fish attractor uh, that's good for the environment and designed specifically to attract fish. So uh, we're gonna check on that and show you a little bit from Sportsman's Paradise Bass Pro Shop. Here we go. That's what we're doing. We've caught the fish, got some great fillets. We're gonna pick up my favorite batter, which is actually the Uncle Buck's original, okay? This is light, it's crispy, uh, it's got a bit of hotness on the end, not so much that you would think that it's a hot batter, uh, but we're gonna add something to it that makes this stuff absolutely phenomenal. And we gotta find it upstairs in the beef jerky section. Here we go. All right. Right next to the camping section is the game processing section. You can find all of your stuff for processing your meat, your sealers, your choppers, your cutters, your slicers, cooking utensils, and then your seasonings for beef jerky. And what we're looking for is the jerky and cure seasoning and the one we're going for is this one right here. Boom. Mandarin teriyaki. You take the seasoning out of this particular jerky cure, mix it with the Uncle Buck's original, and you get that hot kind of orange teriyaki flavor in your fried fish, and it's absolutely amazing. All right, so I'm with Gary Robinson, Bass Pro Shop Manager. What's up, Gary? What's going on? And he has been kind enough to uh, let us see the inner workings of the Bass Pro Shop Aquarium uh, where we caught those big crappie from John Redmond. And I put a few of them in quarantine to be put into the tank, right Gary? That is correct. Have to be in here for one month. 
Quarantine for one month. Make sure they don't contaminate the aquarium. Correct. Right? This is not your typical aquarium. Wow. Absolutely amazing. But the, these are pool pumps, right? Yeah, that's on the filtration system for the whole main tank. Wow. And you got four of them. And then we've got the crappie in here. Oh, there's a, that's a big one back there. Hey, this thing is uh, waterproof. Can we put it in? Yeah. So what we have here is our quarantine tank. And being a circular tank, it was really hard to put structure on the inside of it. And the fish all related to the one, you can't really say a corner, but one side of the tank and they would never come up front and move around. So having put that moss back habitat from, uh, from, from them, they donated to us. Um, those fish have done really, really well. We've put them in the pond outside and we put them in the tank. And I tell you what, it's the greatest thing for people that have farm ponds or lakes. Great structure, a lot of fish stay underneath them. It's kind of nice to know where the fish are when you're fishing for fish. Exactly, yes. <laughs> and they stick out like a sore thumb on garments. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so go check out Mossback Habitat. Thank you, Garrett. <laughs>
definitely got a chance at least. Pitching fin spins, baby. We're catching these mondos. <laughs> That's definitely a keeper fish right there. Got it. That's how it's done. And he choked. That fin spin right there. Boom. Beautiful eating crappie. Beautiful eating crappie. We might have a fish fry after all. We got some dandies. We're gonna have a fish fry, but this giant one right there, that's two pounds, six ounces. We're gonna let that baby go. Boy, that is a tank of a crappie. <laughs> anyway, there goes the two six. We're throwing her back. Kerpulski. We're gonna eat the rest of these. Okay guys, these are all the ingredients that you need to make an incredible meal for yourself, your friends, your family, and they will actually encourage you to go fishing. All right, here's the stuff for the rice, and you need a pan a little bit deeper because it's all gonna be prepared and served in that pan. One finely chopped sweet onion, two tubes of Jimmy Dean maple breakfast sausage, some pine nuts, trust me on that, uh, and the Noor's rice style chicken flavor rice and pasta blend and you're gonna just basically follow the, the directions on the back of the actual uh, container here but instead of water you're going to use chicken broth all right one can or one box like this will do two uh, so that's helpful for you people that are math challenge like myself. But the first step in the rice, we got to uh, get this onion cooked up. We're just gonna put in a little bit of olive oil and reduce that onion down till they're clean. Then we're gonna put in the maple sausage and brown that really well. And then basically just take and do exactly what it says on the back here of the packaging. Okay, once you've got the sausage in there, just take your spatula, chop it up. And immediately you're going to start smelling that maple and that onion coming together. Okay, as you can see, the uh, sausage is completely brown. The onions are completely caramelized. And believe it or not, the hardest part of your cooking of this rice is over. All right, now it's simple. All you do is take your chicken broth, one whole box, dump it in there. So then, once you have that done, simply tear open the package of your rice and pasta blend by Noor's chicken flavor and just dump it in. All right, dump both packages in. Get all that stuff on the bottom because that's all that flavor. And then basically, just kind of fan that out on the top, get it all covered. And what's gonna happen is, once we turn up the heat here, because we're gonna bring this to a boil, that boiling water is going to expand all of that rice and all of that pasta. 
And I'm telling you, you are gonna get crazy mad compliments on this kind of sweet, dirty rice recipe. So basically just put it on high till it comes up to a boil. And then once it's boiling, every now and then come in with the spatula and just kind of move it around so that it's not, you know, burning any of the meat or any of the rice on the bottom. Turn your heat down so it's at a slow boil, not a real rapid boil, and let it boil for seven minutes. And believe me, it won't take long. All right, with about two minutes to go, what you wanna do is come in with the pine nuts. Now the pine nuts give it kind of a unique texture and pine nuts have a very malty flavor. Uh, so it really balances well with the sweetness of that maple sausage. I think you're really gonna like it. Uh, this is a four ounce bag. I would suggest just put in about half of them in there. Just kind of cover the top with pine nuts. They're fairly expensive. So, uh, you know, save half the bag for the next batch. And then just work those in as well. For the last two minutes. Gives it just kind of a unique texture when you're eating the rice. And definitely a fun little kick to the flavor. Ooh, that sounds like a chef. Start cooking. Okay, now we definitely want to start turning that heat down. Actually, might as well just turn it off for the last minute because that moisture is starting to be absorbed by the pasta and the rice and you don't want to you don't want to burn the bottom okay time to fry our fish this is everything you will need first and foremost peanut oil if you're not frying your fish in peanut oil Oh goodness, I'm gonna say a prayer for you, all right? Believe me, it makes a difference. It's a little bit more pricey, but it makes that fish flakier, it makes that, uh, that batter crispier. Definitely get you some peanut oil. We're gonna have an egg and a milk wash, and then here's all the seasoning to make our signature uh, batter, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a, a dry glaze, but basically you take the jerky cure out, and you just get the seasoning pack. Don't get the cure pack, that'll make everybody sick. Just get the seasoning pack. It says seasoning right on there. And for all intents and purposes, you can just throw that away. And then you've got some panko bread crumbs, makes everything a little crispier, everything a little crunchier. And then the Uncle Buck's fish batter mix. So basically we're gonna dump both of these into here with the full package of this, sift it all together real good. Add about a quarter of a bag of the panko bread crumbs, and then we're going to put them back in the containers. We're going to put, we're going to fill one of them and put the other one about three quarters, and leave enough to batter our fish in our shaker here. We've got our fillets. We've got our egg and milk wash. Just going to dump that in there, stir it up real well. Get all that sticky egg and milk onto the fillets and I just turned my oil go off but it's ready and so once we've got that it's going to take not that much fillets and just drape them in our shaker just like that we're going to put the lid on the shaker and we're going to shake them really well please lid don't fall off Got them shook pretty good. And we just simply take them out. They look awesome. They look very well coated. And these crappie have won a one-way ticket to Greece. Ooh, Nelly. Cook them all for about two minutes. That's all you need. Two minutes. Should be enough for this little cook. Get that kitchen timer going. Two minutes. And at about one minute, give them a shake or flip them. 
and you're going to be in high cotton. And oh my goodness, those look phenomenal. Curly, crunchy. Look how hard they are staying because of that. Uh, first off, the peanut oil. Second off, 385 is where you want to be temperature wise. And the third thing that makes them so crispy is that panko. The panko. So just let them sit there. Our rice is looking phenomenal. Oh, we're going to have a feast. Remember, people, don't ever trust a skinny, crappy fisherman or guide. Mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> you got to have a little belly on you. <laughs> there you have it. Your orange, smoky, teriyaki, Uncle Buck's, just a tad bit of hotness fish with some incredible, almost borderline sweet, um, savory, dirty rice. Your favorite fish dip, you're good to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching Fish Eat Live. If you have any questions or comments, or if you'd like to share your favorite recipe, excuse me for talking with my mouth full, but this is delicious, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I gotta go. I have got to eat this fish. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.